Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Sudarshan. Uh, I play lead guitars for Regicide. I'm also one of the founding members, and uh, you're watching Metal DNA. Uh, the first song that got me into metal, I'm really not sure, but uh, thinking back to it, I think uh, maybe in 2007, 2008, uh, I probably discovered uh, some of the early Metallica and Iron Maiden albums. Uh, I think that's what got me into the genre, so to speak. Uh, I'd say maybe um, from what I remember, Metallica's Master of Puppets, Iron Maiden, Peace of Mind, and uh, also uh, Metallica's later releases like the Black Album and stuff. Uh, that's uh, stuff that stuck to me uh, initially and made me want to check out more music. Uh, my inspirations uh, as a as a guitarist, uh, I I really love uh, guitar players like Joe Satriani. Uh, Mark Knopfler and uh, a lot of other finger picking players. Eric Clapton. I'm uh, really into um, uh, Jimi Hendrix and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to death metal, I tend to look up to bands like uh, Monstrosity, Incantation, Bolt Thrower, uh, Malevolent Creation, and uh, a lot of these bands who are uh, still doing what they started out to do with uh, the same goal in mind. Uh, three of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, I'd say that Dire Straits is probably my uh, uh, number one pick. Uh, I've always admired their music. Uh, so, mm, thinking back to it, I'd probably say that yeah, Dire Straits is probably the my number one favorite band. But uh, outside that, uh, if I were to pick a, a second and third, uh, probably within the death metal sphere, I'd say incantation and bolt throw uh, these are two death metal bands that i really enjoy what is the first concert you have ever been to uh, in in 2009 uh, i maybe it was 2009 2010 2009 i'm not sure i was about 14 years old uh, i was just getting into metal then uh, i didn't know a lot of uh, metal music that existed uh, I heard uh, through word of mouth that uh, there was a band called Lamb of God uh, who were playing in uh, Bangalore soon and uh, I hadn't heard of Lamb of God before that uh, I didn't uh, know anything about them and uh, I, I, I checked out their music and uh, it turned out to be a lot more extreme than anything that I was listening to then or at least what I considered extreme back then uh, I, I, I didn't uh, I hadn't been to a concert before that and I thought this was an opportunity for me to uh, uh, definitely capitalize on. So I watched Lamb of God, uh, that was the first concert I'd ever been to in 2010. Uh, it was a really cool experience, uh, Lamb of God was great on stage, uh, even though I didn't know a lot of their music, uh, they they put up a great live show, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Also uh, I, I was about I think 14 or 15 and uh, I'd gone alone to this gig. So, uh, I I managed to catch the entire thing and uh, also watch a lot of the uh, opening acts which uh, I, I frankly did not know anything about the Indian or Bangalore metal scene back then. So some of the opening acts that I watched that day were also really enjoyable. Uh, I personally uh, really enjoyed this band called Boomi uh, whom I basically discovered that day uh, uh, opening for Lamb of God. And, uh, I've also watched them a couple of times after, most recently, I think about two years ago in Blue Frog. Yeah, uh, great band. I really enjoy their music. Uh, Regicide was formed, I think, in January 2017. That was uh, when we officially uh, started the band uh, with the first lineup, which was uh, me on guitar, Sonak Singh on... Uh, uh, guitars and vocals. Uh, we had Vijit Singh on drums and uh, Alfred Thomas on bass. That was the first lineup that we started off with. And uh, uh, that, I think, yeah, January 2017 was when we officially started the band. That's when we came up with the name Regicide. And uh, that's around the first time that we jammed as well uh, and started writing music basically. We had, I, I had some stuff written before that from older projects and just. Uh, sitting at home and working on stuff so we just quickly put together what we had and 
uh, started refining that music. And about two months later, I think March 2017 was when we played our first show. Uh, regicide, regicide means uh, overthrowing monarchy uh, in the most uh, uh, lowest form of the meaning. But uh, regicide is commonly used to describe uh, the act or a conspiracy to overthrow a king. So yeah, that's that's actually what regicide means, and uh, we it it was based on a lot of uh, documentary history documentaries that I watched, and uh, an idea that struck me when I was listening to Celtic Frost. Yeah. Uh, so as for what is next for regicide, uh, we wrote we started writing uh, some new songs. Uh, we had some new music and. Uh, uh, one of the songs that we wrote re- most recently, we played it uh, live this year, which was before the coronavirus pandemic hit. Uh, we played Nepal Death Fest, and uh, we played one of our new songs there. And uh, we were working on refining that song and releasing it as a single. So I'd say that's something that uh, is probably uh, definitely on the cards right now for the uh, side. It's something that can be expect, expected uh, in the near future. So this is a song that uh, we marks kind of our transition from where our EP was uh, to the kind of music that we're writing right now. Uh, it marks like the change in the sound and the ideologies that uh, uh, we're using to write our music now. So I'd say that's next. As for an album, uh, we're just taking our time with it. Uh, we don't want to rush it or hurry it for any reason. And uh, yeah, uh, I I don't have an ETA on when we'll have the album out. Hopefully soon. Uh, so our first gig was this uh, small show that we played in March 2017, like I mentioned, in a really small bar called J-Cubes. Uh, this was a... Uh, like it it wasn't a venue that had ever held a gig previously and uh, we were uh, but it was a very uh, popular hangout spot for us when we were students so uh, we uh, we thought that you know uh, it would be amazing to play a show there uh, actually the show is put up by uh, Yashwant from uh, jam, who owned uh, this jam room called Dive back in the day so uh, he put up the show and he invited us to play and uh, apart from us there were two other bands Infamy and Netherax as well playing and uh, a lot of our friends people who knew us personally and also people who wanted to see what we were up to uh, turned up and uh, I think there were at least about 40 people at the show which we did not expect we were uh, we thought we'd be playing uh, you know to an empty audience but uh, it went went a long way better than we expected and uh, uh, yeah even though the show wasn't great in terms of uh, uh, the sound or uh, anything else, we definitely did have a good time. And uh, yeah, it was that that was our first experience playing live. Uh, looking back now, uh, as for the best gig. Uh, I'm sure that all the band members uh, apart from me will have a different take on which the best gig is. Uh, so, for uh, I know that our drummer Widget thinks that, uh, I mean, for him personally, the best gig we have played is the small uh, uh, show we played in 2017 called Grinders Protest, uh, which was an amazing show, hands down. It was uh, one of the most... Uh, uh, a very violent uh, show and everyone was just there to have fun and they were just jumping around and running around which was an amazing experience to play to them because they really seemed into the music and uh, you know they were there to have fun rather than uh, stand and nod slightly at what we were playing so that was a really enjoyable experience I think it always is a great experience when uh, the audience responds to your music so yeah definitely that was one of uh, our best gig but for me personally i'd say that uh, a gig we played in sri lanka uh, we played a gig in colombo which was uh, in 2019 february last year just after we had released our ep 
so we played our ep launch show here in bangalore and uh, in uh, fandom and uh, a week later we played a show in sri lanka called eucharistical blasphemy so this was a really big lineup it was the ep launch of a band called nefertum from sri lanka who invited us to come down and uh, there were over i think eight or nine bands playing that day and uh, the show went on till 2:30 i think 2:30 am and that was a really cool experience for us we never attended a gig that went on for that long and the gig itself was amazing the the sound was great uh, the uh, the lights were great the venue was amazing and the crowd was probably the best i have personally played to they were, they really responded to the music they seemed to be enjoying it and we had a great time we had a blast on stage so definitely that would be my uh, favorite show also they have a collectors edition dvd of uh, coming up uh, of that uh, of the live footage for that show so definitely get to le- relive it a uh, place in my bucket list to play or uh, definitely want to tour around uh, europe some day if that is even possible uh, just uh, play as many venues as possible in europe and north america as well uh, the united states and maybe mexico or canada if possible because i intend to move there soon and uh, uh it definitely be great to uh, have different experiences there as well so yeah definitely those places uh if uh, performance anxiety uh, no if if you mean stage fright then sure i guess uh, the first uh, uh i think maybe the first five or six shows that we played we were always anxious on stage we didn't have uh, you know we we were uh, wa- constantly worried about fucking up and uh, we had we had our uh, fears about how it was going to go and a kind of uh, fear leading up to the performance but i think that uh, while it hasn't completely vanished it has definitely diminished over time uh, i think now it's like uh, when the five of us get on stage we're just looking to have the best time possible because we know that you know we've worked hard on the music and uh, uh, minor fuck ups cannot be helped even the biggest bands i'm sure they do that but uh, yeah uh, we we had a we just aim at having the best time possible uh, on the current music industry i'd say that uh, i don't know it's just like everyone's uh, trying to make honest music regardless of the fact that uh, there's no great monetary compensation it's not an industry like it was before it's uh, the value for music the, even though the demand exists uh, streaming services and uh, like the basic modernization of the way we consume music has uh, uh, changed what it means to be a musician so uh props to everyone who's uh, you know still trying to go against the odds and make uh, music happen even if they have to have a separate career and do this uh, you know as their side gig or whatever uh, and they're making it happen so props to everyone doing that that's all nothing else to say about it uh bands from india that i look up to uh so there are a lot of bands i like from india uh, if if i had to you uh, know name bands that i look up to personally i'd say cryptos uh, uh amorphia uh also bands like uh, dwesha who were also a huge influence uh, on regicide when we started out uh and um, dying embrace who were also uh, like the one of the oldest uh, xc metal bands from india uh, who are also someone that uh people should check out when they talk about indian metal so these four bands i'd say are like uh, really big uh, influential bands on uh, the metal scene and on me as well apart from that there are also bands that uh, i really personally like bands like elusia infamy uh, bands including armament uh, goat smoke speed trip and uh, uh yeah a lot of uh, uh there's gorified and enorectal ulceration uh, a lot of these bands that uh, go unnoticed when you talk about uh, indian metal
uh, advice. I'm not. I'm not sure. I qualify to give advice, uh, but uh, I, I can't. I can't really say that uh, we were like a really successful band that should be giving out advice. But uh, if if anyone does look up to us, then I'd probably say that uh, uh, just just play your music as much as you can and uh, make sure that you listen to more and more music and uh, spend less time fighting with your bandmates. Uh, spend as much time as you can together, li- collectively listening to music and uh, coming up with ideas on what to do next. And uh, don't worry. Uh, as a musician, you have to also be the uh, be an entrepreneur uh, you have to sell your music but don't worry about that before you have music that's worth selling so uh, try and focus only on the music and when it comes to uh, marketing your music you will you will be more confident uh, about doing that even if you haven't done it before as long as you have a product that you are happy with closing word i just bring uh, i just like to bring to notice uh, some of my favorite bands from india uh, who are putting out some great music and uh, whom i hope you guys will check out starting with uh, inhuman a band from kolkata who have been uh, uh, playing some cool death metal for a while uh, i haven't watched them live but uh, their ep evocation is a really good tip of the hat uh, to death Uh, so if you're a fan of death and uh, similar bands you should definitely check them out uh, also from kolkata i'd like to uh, uh, mention armament who play some really good aggressive thrash metal uh, and from bangalore uh, i'd like to mention piston uh, who play some uh, really cool thrash metal and are now coming out with an album soon uh, i'd also like to mention elusia also from bangalore uh they play a really cool brand of uh, heavy metal uh mixed with a uh, bunch of other genres like old school speed metal and some power metal here and there so if you're if you're basically into traditional heavy metal there's uh, there a band you should definitely check out uh this is gorified also from bangalore if you're into brutal death metal uh probably uh, uh one one of the Uh, best bands uh, from bangalore is gorified that you probably have to check out uh, i'd also like to mention amorphia uh, like i did before uh, saying that uh, they were one of the bands i look up to they're uh, definitely one of the best thrash metal bands in india today uh, so look them up for sure uh, another band i'd like to mention is moral putrefaction uh, they this is their uh, a cd of their demo and uh, they play some really cool old school death metal uh, stuff in the lines of emulation and uh, carcass if you're into that kind of death metal you should definitely check it out uh, i'd also like to mention infamy uh, like i did earlier uh, they are a traditional heavy metal band with some of the aggressiveness uh, from old school thrash uh, like uh, megadeth and stuff like that so if you're into that definitely check it out uh and finally uh, i'd like to mention empyrean uh this is a band that i'm also a part of uh and uh, it's it's an extreme metal band uh, so if you're a fan of bands like morbid angel morbid scream or uh, grave uh this is a band that you should probably check out because you'll definitely enjoy it thank you